Hey guys and gals, this is Cal from Dirty Weasel. I wanted to give you an update on a modding tool near and dear to my heart, Mod Organizer. Yep, I've done over 100 videos that in some way, shape, or form has used the original Mod Organizer for games like Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, or even Skyrim. It has been my mod manager of choice and quite frankly, it is very hard to give up. As you may remember, with the release of Fallout 4 on a 64-bit engine, Tannen, the creator of Mod Organizer, had to rebuild it. Then, in a cruel turn of fate, Tannen was hired by Nexus Mods to create their new mod manager, which we now know as named Vortex, as a replacement for the aging Nexus Mod Manager. So, Mod Organizer 2 was left in an unfinished state. In stepped a modding community programmer named Le Presidente, who took up the challenge of reviving Mod Organizer 2 and bringing it to the public. He even got some help from Tannen to get it to a mostly usable state and then released it on the Nexus to the cheers of many, as it could be used for Fallout 4 and the Skyrim Special Edition. However, it was a bit buggy and developed even more problems with script extenders like F4SE and SKSE64. So much so that Le Presidente had to pull it from the Nexus and many questioned if it would ever return. The last mostly stable version 2.0.8.3b is still available on GitHub, but hasn't been updated since February 2017. At this point, you may be thinking, that's it, MO2 is dead, over, finito. Well, you would be wrong. Le Presidente retreated to the step forums where the work has continued. He has even opened up the inner workings of the mod organizer Unimake umbrella so that the modding community can help out with further development. Don't worry, I'll include all these links in the description so you can go visit the site yourself. And that brings us to the final bit of info I have for you. The Mod Organizer Discord channel. Yes, like the little elves working away in the dark of night, Le Presidente has his own group of coders and testers gathered in one place to discuss the progress in making updates. In addition to the core group of software developers that make up the team, I've seen upwards of around 75 people on the channel at any given time. From testing and bug stomping to even trying out their latest build version 2.1, these people aren't giving up on this great mod manager. I've gotten approval from Lay Presidente to include a link to the Discord channel below in the description so that if you want to join the group you can. A couple of caveats though. This is not a help forum for mod organizer. This is solely dedicated to working on the new build. If you're looking for advice on the original Mod Organizer or Mod Organizer 2 version 2.0.8.3, try something like the Skyrim Mods Reddit. Lots of helpful people over there, and they'll be more than happy to help you out. So, if you want to help out keeping Mod Organizer 2 alive, I encourage you to check it out. Lay Presidente wanted me to pass on that they are looking for experienced people that know C++ programming to contribute to the project, and they look forward to seeing you there. That's all I've got for now. My name is Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.